Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. Oli Simube is my name. Uh, there isn't much that I want to talk about except that uh, I am responding to some fears that have been expressed to me about what is going to happen uh, pertaining the discussions vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Zimbabwe exemption permit and continuing to stay in South Africa. Uh, as I we have said before, the Minister of Home Affairs has been refusing to have any discussion around this, uh, this issue and with the Minister himself saying that he can only be guided by the policy of the ruling party, which is the African National Congress. Uh, ironically, you'll remember that uh, the Minister of Home Affairs uh, Dr. Aaron Mutsualedi chairs uh, the Migration uh, Committee uh, of the African National Congress. Uh, but now what is going to give us pointers as to whether or not any negotiations are going to uh, be successful in as far as uh, loosening or should I say softening the stance of the South African government in as far as migration generally is concerned uh, is the policy conference of the ruling party which is the ANC which is going to take place this coming weekend uh, so the next few days are going to decide uh, what stance the South African government is going to take going forward you would know that the Zimbabwe exemption permit uh, especially uh, expired officially on the 31st of December last year, but it, uh, a moratorium was given for the next 12 months, which end uh, on the 31st of December this year. So whether or not there is going to be a shift in as far as that expiration is concerned, uh, will be determined by the policy conference of the ANC. You would know that uh, the African National Congress is under fire, especially from some right-wing uh, thinking people uh, here in South Africa who believe that migrants uh, are the main causes uh, of, of the problems, especially the socio-economic problems that the country is facing. You'd know that uh, South Africa is hovering in the 37 percent uh, unemployment uh, unemployment rate uh, which means that uh, it's been worsening over the last few years and there is a general belief unfounded as it is that migrants are contributing to this because some of those undocumented ones uh, would rather uh, be employed and be exploited than stand up for what is right or hold out uh, for what is considered a basic uh, uh, minimum wage. So they would take anything that comes along because of their migration status. So there is that belief. There is also another belief that uh, migrants are contributing to crime in South Africa. There is a lot of other issues, uh, stereotypes based, uh, that migrants have been blamed for. So the policy conference of the ANC, I believe, is going to take uh, or tap uh, into the huge electoral uh, uh, losses that the party uh, encountered or fell to in the last uh, local government elections which saw the rise uh, of right-wing movements like the Patriotic Alliance and uh, Action SA as well as the establishment of vigilante groups like uh, Operation Tutula which have gone around uh, harassing people uh, especially migrants they are saying that every migrant must leave south africa so uh, taking from what the minister of home affairs also said uh, yesterday which is uh, on wednesday uh, to the press uh, he said that uh, the party has proposed sweeping changes to key policies on migration uh, and uh, this is included in the party's discussion uh, documents which will be tabled uh, before the ANC, the delegates of the ANC policy conference. And these include uh, uh, the issues of uh, the porous borders, uh, which they say is a polarizing debate, uh, the issue of uh, uh, they, they are saying that the issue of migration policy, uh, which needs to be tightened, uh, intelligence and law enforcement in, around, in, in and around uh, migration, which is about uh, maybe concerning also the borders. We saw that there were border uh, guards that were deployed there a few weeks ago or a week ago to 
try and curtail uh, the number of people who are using an orthodox means to get into South Africa. So this is a pointer as to what the policy conference might come up with uh, uh, or might come out with rather. Uh, so we wait with fingers crossed hoping that maybe, just maybe, uh, whatever is decided there is going to be for the better of migrants and migration of course we are saying we're not saying that south africa should allow uh, anybody to just roam in and out of the country illegally but we are hoping also that uh, the government is also going to make it uh, easier for people to migrate uh, legally uh, within the SATAC region, as is the call uh, right away. Uh, so this is some of the issues. Uh, also, the party is said to be considering uh, tightening uh, its visa policies and uh, its citizenship laws, because you'd remember that uh, the minister uh, has commissioned uh, an, an investigation into uh, the documentation processes in here in South Africa, and they've been propping all permits that were issued between 2004 and 2020 uh, in order to, to in order to nail those who caught them fraudulently especially those who circumnavigated the systems uh, of south africa and we are told that about 60 percent uh, of the permits uh, that were issued that includes permits uh, permanent resident permits uh, work permits study permits uh, and also a uh, citizenship uh, uh, documents that were issued back then, uh, most of them were found to be uh, illegally given or fraudulently given or to have been given uh, outside the confines of the law. So whatever is going to happen is going to be uh, an interesting issue which uh, every migrant, I'm sure, is going to be uh, to keep their fingers crossed to hope that maybe, just maybe is going to ease uh, migration that is legal migration not illegal migration so thank you very much uh, please subscribe to this channel like this video and share it